400 meters swim, 10 kilometers bike, 2.5 kilometers run. My first time I was running, I slipped and I fell down. I only had three weeks since I got the leg to train for the leg. I have an above knee amputation and my amputation is really small. I have little muscle to run. I have to strengthen my core and, and learn to run again. Remember how I use my normal leg as well. We trained hard for months as if I'm training for an iron man. Much better. That's, yeah, that's much better. We lose our motivation when we forget why we have started. You know, I'm doing this because it's healthy for me to be strong for my family, to be strong in life, and this is what keeps me really going. I, ain't gonna be the first to cry. I took the decision to participate in the triathlon at a moment of demotivation. I was thinking, okay, now what? What do I do? I have to have a goal. So I set a big goal, somehow impossible goal for me. When I broke my hip almost six years ago, I was like, oh my God, not again. You know, like I don't have a leg now. I broke my hip. What's happening? You know, I, I was getting depressed, but I had to snap out of it. You know, like, no, you know, get up. You have a family. You have to look after yourself and take control. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. I was really excited. Now the adrenaline started to kick in. The happiness is in the process. By every step you make and you see the progress, you feel happy. When I got on my bike, suddenly the seat came down. I was really panicking, I was really stressed. My coach was trying to help me to fix it on the spot. But I was really looking forward to doing a good time and the cycling, and this happened suddenly. <laughs> As I was running, I slipped and I fell down. My biggest fear. Thank God I fell down in the right way. I fell down on my knees, so nothing happened to my leg. I don't have to take it off and fix it. I, I got up and I continued running. And suddenly I, I felt like I passed my fear. I fell down and nothing happened. The thing, one thing that I was afraid of, nothing happened. 50 meters before the finish line, all the emotions, we're rushing in, all the images in my head from my childhood, from my accident, from all the pain that I had, everything. And I was thinking, I'm about to cross the finish line. This is a big thing and my family was waiting and everybody was cheering. I felt like a winner, honestly, when I crossed that finish line. And I cried because of joy. I cried because I did it. I cried because I did something that I didn't think I would do in my life. I felt free. I felt like nothing is impossible. But now, like, there's no limit. You know, you can do anything you set your mind to. Sometimes when we face with a challenge, we immediately think about the problem and we dwell into the emotions of how the challenge is making me feel and how difficult it is and we don't see that we need to take action and this will actually be an opportunity for us to grow and to change. After every accomplishment, I'm like, okay, so now what's next? 